Best of r slash choosing beggars episode 29. Hi all, I posted this in a different subreddit and then someone suggested that it might fit in here, so here I am. First time poster on this sub. Requested, tl slash doctor at the bottom. I run a company where we hire out wedding and event service providers with our main focus being photography and videography. Other services include DJs, drone pilots, hair and makeup artists etc. Not relevant at all. So a few months back, I get an instant chat from a bride via our website. She informs me that they are coming down to South Africa in December and they need a wedding photographer and videographer. I send our packages to her and she says her fiancé wants to call me. I say that's fine and I give her my number. Thank you. Next. Hi all. I posted this in a different subreddit and then someone suggested that it might fit in here. So here I am. First time poster on this sub. Requested, tl slash doctor at the bottom. I run a company where we hire out wedding and event service providers with our main focus being photography and videography. Other services include DJs, drone pilots, hair and makeup artists etc. Not relevant at all. So a few months back, I get an instant chat from a bride via our website. She informs me that they are coming down to South Africa in December and they need a wedding photographer and videographer. I send our packages to her and she says her fiancé wants to call me. I say that's fine and I give her my number. Thank you. Next. Hi all. I posted this in a different subreddit and then someone suggested that it might fit in here. So here I am. First time poster on this sub. Requested, tl slash doctor at the bottom. I run a company where we hire out wedding and event service providers with our main focus being photography and videography. Other services include DJs, drone pilots, hair and makeup artists etc. Not relevant at all. So a few months back, I get an instant chat from a bride via our website. She informs me that they are coming down to South Africa in December and they need a wedding photographer and videographer. I send our packages to her and she says her fiancé wants to call me. I say that's fine and I give her my number. Thank you. Next. Hi all. I posted this in a different subreddit and then someone suggested that it might fit in here. So here I am. First time poster on this sub. Requested, tl slash doctor at the bottom. I run a company where we hire out wedding and event service providers with our main focus being photography and videography. Other services include DJs, drone pilots, hair and makeup artists etc. Not relevant at all. So a few months back. I get an instant chat from a bride via our website. She informs me that they are coming down to South Africa in December and they need a wedding photographer and videographer. I send our packages to her and she says her fiancé wants to call me. I say that's fine and I give her my number. Thank you. Next. This happened just the other day, but I work at a grocery store, and sometimes my job involves shopping orders for our home shop service, where we put the orders together, bill them and then the customer just comes and picks it up. We use these little hand scanners that show us the items, how many are needed, the aisle number, etc. We just use it to scan the item to tell the computer we do have this item. It is now going in the bag to be billed at the end. If you try to scan an item that is not on the order, it will not work. The item has to be exactly what was ordered. This will be important. So I shop an order around 8am for a certain woman. I'll use Karen for her. It's not a huge order, and it wasn't very hard to shop. Part of it involved her wanting two ribeye steaks. So as I am shopping the order, I pick up two nice steaks and scan them. They go through. I bill it, call the customer, and put the bags away. I later also deliver it. A few hours later, we get a call on the phone designated for our department, and it is Karen. The conversation goes as follows. Me. Hi, this is Luna with this store. How can I help you? Karen. Hi, this is Karen. I picked up my order earlier, and I did not receive what I ordered. Me. Grabbing her sheet and pulling up her order. Oh. What was the problem? Karen. I ordered four buy steaks, two doubles, and I only received two singles. Me. Remembering that I shot this, and that the scanner accepted what I picked up. And also looking at her order, it says here that you received the right item. I had to hand the phone to a more seasoned shopper. He looked at her order and confirmed, our shopper got what you ordered. However, 
she apparently said this was very inconvenient, and she requested that we give her two more ribeye steaks, for free, and she wanted them delivered to her house ASAP, I'm not happy about it, but we did it, thank you, next, TL, DR at bottom, background, my wife had lots of friends growing up through school, they continued into adulthood with less frequency as normal however when we started dating they ghosted her, apart from a few work friends and her best friend. To my surprise her best friend was my cousin's ex-girlfriend. When I was 14 she'd moved from up north at 16 and lived at my grand's house with my cousin and aunt. During this time my grandmother used to complain she was eating all the food, smoking all the cigarettes she bought my cousin, and call her a user. She was always a pleasant girl and we were somewhat friendly. Fast forward to the post-engagement my wife asked her to be the maid of honor, and my wife's sister and a close friend to be bridesmaids. So we of course paid for all their outfits, shoes, dresses, accessories and we were paying for their hair and makeup to be done. The lovely bridesmaid then offered to do the makeup as a wedding gift to us, knowing how expensive wedding makeup is and she's a professional beauty therapist the same as my wife. Everything falls into place and is going excellent. We are getting married two hours away, and offered to pay for the wedding party's rooms. However my father-in-law said he'd pay for his, and wife's sisters. He also gave us money toward wedding as he was a traditional type. My brother said he'd pay for his and my father's. My mother's sadly not with us anymore and my brother's girlfriend was home in Portugal for medical treatment not available in UK at the time. So we paid for two nights for mother-in-law's room. Maid of honor. My room for the night before the wedding, bridal suite was included in wedding package, and a photographer's room. Lovely bridesmaid insists on paying her own room, saying she's honored to be part of wedding. All is fine, the maid of honor is a single mum with a 12 year old son. She doesn't work and is on a pretty damn low state benefits. Over the course of the year she starts talking to a guy online of New York. And she manages to talk another friend into paying for her ticket to go visit this guy roughly three weeks before the proposed handy she was meant to be planning and had picked the activities but not booked anything and she messages lovely bridesmaid to ask her to do it instead as she's too busy. She flies to New York to meet this dream man, comes home two weeks later and messages my wife to say she can't afford to go to the handu as the activities cost £75 and she doesn't have money. Wifey was upset so I offered to pay for her share and my wife's share, as maid of honor had said she'd cover both of theirs but spend all her money while visiting dreamy New Yorker. I felt compelled to do what I could to make my wife's Hindu special as I went with 8 friends to Prague for mine, with my best man covering my share, he wouldn't let me pay, and all my friends had covered their own share, and her friends couldn't afford to go away so it was in our home city of Edinburgh. Hindu comes and goes. CB comes but drinks only the free table drinks and eats the free meal. Wife to be has a great night and lovely bridesmaid has organized lots of great things and made gifts, put a lot of thought into the night to make it special. I made a joke about how lovely bridesmaid should be made of honor, a joke I fully meant seriously, and my wife said I was right but she couldn't do that to CB and ask her to step down. Later that week CB phones in tears as she has no money and no food for her child and her benefits are 4 days away. I gave wife to be my credit card and told her to take her food shopping to get some food for her and the kid. And that she didn't have to pay us back. Note this is a week after returning from New York. She spends a small amount. Around £40 from memory. This was summer 2018 a month before the wedding. I don't remember exactly how much. Two weeks later dreamy New Yorker flies to Edinburgh to live with CB. CB asks if he can be added to the guest list to come with her son and her. We of course said yes and let the wedding planner know and paid for the extra meal. Now the week of the wedding arrives, she sends a photo of dreamy in his new suit for the wedding. A viking looking mofo in a baby blue suit like dumb and dumber if you know the movie haha. But hey it's all good, we say can't wait to meet him in person etc. Two days before the wedding CB phones and says Dreamy has looked at hiring a car to come to the wedding but he can't afford it so we will need to give them a lift there and back. I said to wife to be that I had plans for us after the wedding that we could take them down and drop them at the train station the day everyone's going home. I sent her a screenshot of the train cost. It was £24 for all three of them to get home. 
She calls back 20 minutes later saying she can't pay this and we should pay it, since we can't bring them back after all. I refused. She'd gotten to the end of my tether in helping her and she now had this man from New York who surely didn't come here with no money and no job. He's an artist haha, so she now refuses to come to the wedding saying it's unfair as we're paying for everyone to get their hair done but she doesn't need hers done because she has dreadlocks so we are being unfair to her. And that lovely bridesmaid is doing the makeup so don't be cheap. My wife hangs up crying her eyes out. But she also refuses to pay for it having growing increasingly sick of being used by CB with the hen do. Shopping. All the wedding expenses for her to be so ungrateful. So I whatsapp the maid of honor saying wife to be is upset. That we can't afford to pay for the train unfortunately. She messaged back saying it's only 24 pounds. You have money. You have your own business I replied a little irate saying we've paid for everything else for you. I'm sorry but if it's only 24 pounds I'm sure Dreamy can afford it too. He didn't come 5000 miles with no money surely. She then calls me screaming down the phone f you, how dare you ask him to pay to be part of your wedding. He spent money on a suit, it's not his job to pay for it I asked why it's my job to pay for it then and she just screams f you, you're a f-ing fat prick. And I wouldn't come now even if you pay for it. Go F yourself and wifey can go F herself too and hangs up. So I was in the wrong for expecting this guy who wasn't even invited. And I've never met to pay for himself and his new family to get home from the wedding. When we've paid for literally every other penny associated and more. Once wifey stops crying. She phones lovely bridesmaid and asks if she will be maid of honor and explains the situation. Lovely bridesmaid says it would be amazing but also if she does still want CB to be made of honor they would hire a bigger car to take them all home. They have a very small hatchback. We said no she's no longer welcome we'd like you to be made of honor instead. It should have always been you since the Hindu. Lovely bridesmaid's fiance came to my stag do in Prague. Having only met me a handful of times and we became great friends and I promised him I'd try to get lovely bridesmaid turned into made of honor as she deserved it. So he knew we really wanted this and just didn't have the heart to ask CB to step down. In just 24 hours she managed to create a bridal box for my wife, with lots of little dexterous items like sleep spray, calming tea, nice chocolate CTC for the night before wedding and stayed with her in the bridal suite watching movies and talking. Wedding day comes and she gets up and gives a heartfelt, emotional and funny as hell speech she managed to write after being asked. Although stole my cheesy joke about even the cakes and tears lol. The wedding goes fantastically. Wedding planner the day before wedding rearranged the tables to remove the extra places. And had our custom seating plan reprinted with lovely bridesmaid at top table with us. No one misses CB at all. TL. DR. After paying for every single cost from the Hindu. To the wedding including hotel. Outfit. Accessories. Makeup. ETC maid of honor refuses to come to wedding two days before wedding because we can't offer her a ride home afterwards or pay for her train. Despite her inviting an extra guest, flying to New York, on someone else's money, before the Hindu to meet a guy from the internet and we had to buy food to feed her and her child after New York when she had no money. Edit, non-Americanisms. Hindu equals bachelorette party. Stag do equals bachelor party. This is what we call it in UK. Thank you. Next. The exchange happened in my native language so I'll try to translate it the best I can. After reading so many posts I finally managed to encounter one on my own. Backstory is I wanted to get rid of one of my monitors. It's almost brand new 21 monitor I had for about half a year but wanted something new and decided to sell it. I listed it for half the price I bought it. About $60 and compared to other listings of the same I thought it was a fair price. And here it goes. CB. Is it still available? Me. Yes. CB. How many inch and what about condition? Me. 21 almost brand new. Cared for. CB. I can buy 22 monitor from pawn shop for $10 so I can buy yours for $12. Me. Go buy it at pawn shop then if it's cheaper. CB. I saw a 24 monitor. Perfect condition with guarantee at pawn shop. Me. Cool. CB, you can try scam people but I won't get scammed by you, there are more people like me on the marketplace, bye.